So since you know a thing or two about making a uh, hit record, do you mind sticking around and talking about our, our Record of the Year nominees? I would love to. I think it's an amazing yeah. category. Yeah, at least this year, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's do it. So, Keith, we might first need a little refresher on the difference between Record of the Year and Song of the Year, because it's pretty confusing. Yeah. yeah. Super confusing if yeah. you're actually watching it at home tonight, and you're like, wait, didn't they just present that like 20 minutes ago? Yeah. All right, here's the difference. Record of the Year is an award for the artist producers, engineers, and mixers. So think performance of the song and all the technical stuff. Okay. Then song of the year is a reward for the songwriter. So it, you'll, you know, if uh, someone could actually conceivably win both. If, if it's, it's like the, a Taylor uh, Swift or Billy and Phineas. Exactly, acting. Okay. exactly. So that's the difference. Remember that when you watch the show tonight. Okay. That's true. Thanks for clearing that up. Yeah. Sure. I really had no idea. <laughs> all right, let's take a look at the nominees. We've got Hey Ma, Bonnie Vare, Bad Guy by Billie Eilish, Seven Rings, Ariana Grande, Talk by Khalid, Hard Place by Her, Old Town Road, Lil Nas X featuring Billy Ray Cyrus, and of course, Truth Hurts by Lizzo, and my favorite, Sunflower by Post Malone and Sway Lee. JoJo, who would you choose your favorite song? Which mm. one did you have on This is hard. These it's are tough. all massive hits. Oh, yeah. Hard. Um, my, I think Billy should win. I think Billie Eilish should win. I think that song was just everywhere. She's so dope. But like the song I enjoyed most personally was her, Hard Place. Mm. It's just gets you into your feels too. Yes, she's so special. She's such a great musician. I dig her so much. Awesome. Uh, so answer. Keith, we've had so many great songs here. Yeah. What do you think are kind of like the heavy hitters in the category? Because there's a lot. So we kind of have to yeah. limit it down. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's like a Sophie's Choice sort of situation where we have Oof. to like sort of narrow down those eight into I think what the four okay. possible winners could be tonight. Okay. And those are okay. seven rings. Ari. Bad Guy. Okay. Old Town Road and Truth Hurts. Okay, so let's... Sorry. No, those, yeah. those are the biggest ones. Yeah, I know. That's... Yeah. So let's start with Ari, Seven Rings. All right. So you gotta love a song that was inspired by a shopping spree to Tiffany's. Uh, I know, <laughs> with her girlfriends. Yeah, I know, with her girlfriends. Very relatable. I wish we could all have that moment. Did Ariana call any of us? One day. We're game. Um, and you also gotta love the fact that the song actually is sort of like this callback to the beginning of Ariana's career. You know, she before she was a pop superstar, before she was a TV star, she was on Broadway mm -hmm. back in 2008 with the musical 13. It's crazy. Wow. And Seven Rings samples my favorite things huh. from the musical The Sound of Music. So it's like this wonderful full, full circle moment for her mm -hmm. as also a huge fan of yeah. Broadway anyways for her. And also, another fun fact, because I'm in charts, so I've got tons of those random <laughs> I statistics. Love it. That's and what I love about you. <laughs> when it hit number one on the Hot 100, not only did it give Ari another number one, but it gave Rodgers and Hammerstein, that's the writers wow. of The Sound of Music, a number one as songwriters. I mean, that's great. Yeah. They owe her one, yep. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Maybe. I'm sure. I'm sure. There, I'm, sure there's, I'm sure. Lots of flowers were sent all around. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Let's uh, let's move on to Billie Eilish, bad guy. Bad guy. You know, I think if you listen to like all the number ones on the Hot 100 chart for the past few years. I think this is one of the coolest sounding yes, records. Yes, so unique. Yeah. Like you put your headphones on and you just feel like you just get lost in the production and all the layered vocals from Billie. It's just insane. And the track was produced by her older brother. Oh my gosh. In their bedroom they grew up in, yeah. which is wild. It's so sweet and amazing. I love it. It's about the, their bedroom's yeah. about the size of this card, you guys. Oh it's really tiny. It's tiny. <laughs> and he produced it when he was just 21. He's just 22 now, and he's up for producer of the year. Like, come on. Come on. Like, that's crazy. Right? I know. Fan band. It's like, way, way to peak early, you guys. Yeah. No, no. they'll be fine. I'm sure that, that tonight at the Grammys, everyone's going to be searching Phineas down to yeah. try to write his next song, be in his next song. Can you imagine? Oh, so sure. He's running around, like, collecting numbers, and everyone's running up to him. Totally, yeah. for sure. All right, moving on to Old Town Road, Lil Nas X. Obviously, I mean, it was a phenomenon this year. A small, independent record. You know, <laughs> <laughs> no one's not really... Not many people heard it. Not many people heard it. Super, super low-key. Actually, it started off as an indie record. Mm -hmm. I mean, Lil Nas X put it out on his own before it became a huge hit, mm. before Billy Ray jumped on it and turned it into a pop culture phenomenon. Um, but before that, you know, TikTok is really where it got its yeah. start. Everyone was dancing to it. Did you ever do a TikTok to it? Did you ever dance to it? Not to that one. Not to That's that one. That's a missed opportunity. We'll have, to, we'll, have to, we'll have to track down all the archived videos of you dancing to stuff. Um, but it became a huge pop culture global phenomenon. Yeah. I mean, it's, I think you could probably ask anyone. Like from my grandparents to like my eight, little nephew. From eight to 80. Three knows it, you know. Yeah, everyone knows it. Yeah. And, it spent 19 weeks at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, a oh, record really? breaker, the most weeks ever on the chart. Wow. Did you, as a chart guy, did you think that would be the song that would break the all, record? All records were meant to be broken, yeah. Chels. Okay. So, you know, it was bound to happen at some time, Amen. and it happened this past year. But I would like to say, just because you break the record for the most weeks at number one on the Hot 100 doesn't necessarily mean you're actually going to take home record of the year. 
before Old Town Road came along, the, there was a tie for the most weeks in number one. 16 weeks each hmm. between One Sweet Day by Mariah Carey and Boyz II Men and Despacito by Louis huh. Fonsi and Daddy Yankee featuring Justin Bieber. Both nominated for Record of the Year, both lost. Interesting. So keep that okay. in mind tonight. So let's... Uh, it's not a sure run. It's not, not a, a sure not, thing. Yeah, not a shoe in. Yeah. Uh, lastly, we have Lizzo's Truth Hurts. Truth Very Hurts. Hot. Man, that song, I think if you're voting for that song, you're not just voting for the song itself, which is amazing, but also the incredible sort of amazing breakthrough success story mm -hmm. of Lizzo. Mm -hmm. She's been struggling for years to make this breakthrough, and then suddenly it finally happened. And I, I'm sure she's just sitting back going, where have y'all been? <laughs> I've, I've been around for a while, and you're just catching on. Yeah. Her good. moment. She's reveling in it, I'm sure. Oh my Absolutely. God. She's in her bag. It's so good, great to see. It's so inspiring. I think yeah. for her, too, it's more than just a song. It's what she stands for. Self-love. Yeah. I mean, loving your body, which exactly. is what we needed. We needed a Lizzo yeah. in 2019, for more sure. Love. Absolutely. And the song itself is like two years old. We're uh -huh. three years old, probably, at this point. So if you catch us in 2022, we'll probably be, you know, suddenly, you know, loving the song she's making right now. True. It's like this weird late freight with, with Lizzo's material. I don't know why, but it's something magical. Yes. Okay, so predictions. Jojo, you kind of said you think Billy is that your is that your final I think so okay I think like, like you mentioned it's just yeah. so unique it, it yeah. changed the sound of radio and I don't know she's she's the one for me okay and Keith what's what are your thoughts <sighs> I feel like I'm leaning towards truth hurts okay I feel like it I feel like it okay I don't know I could truth be totally hurts. wrong and we could it could be something we didn't even talk about in depth just okay. now <laughs> mm. <laughs> or don't I don't know catch us you tomorrow. just want to <laughs> say those lines what's your favorite line in her song I, I just took a DNA test, turns out. Yay! I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna, I can't say those words. Yes. She's a professional. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Thank, thank you. You're thank the best. So We're so excited about your new music. Thanks, so girl. Come back and hang out with us real soon, okay? Thanks, guys. And thank you, Keith. We'll see you in a second.